boys and girls, here are the different ways that we can show our work when we're doing division word problems. So let's pretend that we have a division problem and this division problem tells us our whole. So we know our total is 20. And we know we're going to take those 20 pieces of candy and we're going to put them into four bags. So we have 20 pieces of candy divided into four bags. And what we need to know is how many candies are in each bag. You have to think about the way that the question is worded. If we know we have 20, which is our whole, and we know that we have four bags, I'm gonna to say to myself, oh, four bags. Oh, that must mean I have four groups. So I'm taking my whole, I'm dividing it by my number of groups, and what I'm looking for is my size or number in each group. So if I have 20 pieces of candy divided into four groups, what I'll do is I'll put my four groups or four bags or packages of candy, and I have to figure out how many candies came in each package. So we're gonna use what we call a fair share. You use a fair share if you already know your total or whole and you know the number of groups, but you have to figure out the size or the number in each group. So I'm going to take my 20 and I'm gonna divide it among four groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I took 20 total pieces of candy, divided them into four bags or four groups, and I found that there are five in each group. So the answer to this problem would be 20 divided by four equals five. So N equals five. The other way that you would draw it is if you have to do a count by. A count by is a little bit different. In a count by, the numbers are in a little bit of a different order. For example, when you're doing a count by, you know your size of your groups, but what you don't know is your number of groups. So let's do it the other way now. Let's pretend that I know that I have 20 divided by five and I have to figure out my unknown. And this time, I already know my size. My whole is 20, so let's pretend I have 20 pieces of candy. And I know that there are five pieces of candy in each bag. What I don't know is my number of groups or packages that I bought. The way that we do a count by is you take the number you already know and you count up by that number until you get to your whole. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're at five, 10. One, two, three, four, five. 15. One, two, three, four, five. 20. See how I counted up by five because my size was five in each group? Five, 10, 15, 20. And you can see that I drew four groups. So 20 divided by five equals four. N equals four.